So, yo, just right on time. Isn't that funny, dude? We do a whole stream talking about how boring and uninspired the character designs in Melty Blood, I guess the series, are, right? Isn't that crazy? And then, as if they could hear the chatter downstairs, as if they could hear all the naysayers, French Bread stepped up. They dropped the French Bread money on the table and walked the fuck out. Bruh, coma is in there. We were worried. I, I was worried about it. I, I was like, damn, they got to find a way to put this character in there. But maybe with the story, he might be kind of an awkward fit or something like that, you know? It's weird because, like, there's not, like, a grappler character. But, like, if there is one, it's him. It's him and Satsuki, right? And he, I think, he's always been one of the coolest designs, dog. There's just a, there's just something about him, dog. There's just, like, a side. I don't know. It's the way his animations are. He's very, like, brolic, very manly. I can't say I was 100% confident he would be in but I'm glad he's in. I think this is a, one of the coolest designs they had. Master Org of the Kishima Clan, both merciful and relentless. Bunch of Wikipedia article story here. Head of the Kishima Clan, a branch of the Tono family. He's half demon. Very quiet, he chooses to live as a hermit in a remote area of the mountains where he seeks to achieve spiritual enlightenment. This is uh, a character I think a lot of people were looking forward to and I think a lot of people wanted to see in this game, especially with the way this game so far it animates, the way it looks, especially with the way like animations are i i was like man as soon as as soon as he, his picture came up on the uh on the what was it tight moon times i was like bro this is gonna be tight you guys already know man they dropped the trailer with it it's a it's not a long one right but it shows off a good bit of stuff so i'm thinking let's get into it man fuck it <laughs> Alright, yeah, they kind of went over the top at the end. But, uh, I guess what I want to look at is maybe... There's actually a lot of stuff in this little, like, teaser, actually. If you slow it down. You know, I was watching with, uh, with Shinobi, Ben. The TO for Climax of Night. He woke up, he got up mad early, and he restreamed it live, but... It, if you slow it down a lot, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Shiki activates Moon Drive, I guess after a follow-up, right? So he's aerial. So when you activate, I guess everyone has two different portraits. Like one where they activate and then one where the other person activates. So it's always going to activate the uh, the half-portrait cut-in like that, right? Watch Koma's face. Koma activates his. Look at his fucking face. Koma's face, no expression change. Shiki's like, oh shit. <laughs> so what happens here? Like, uh, Tono activates Moon Drive off of like a follow up, I guess, or something like that. He goes in the hair, but then he activates two B, cancels into Command Grab Super, and it combos. <laughs> that's godlike. Just looking at that, that's already something different, right? Being in like, uh, the way the command grab super lurches forward like that. See how that forward movement like that? That's big. You know? That's something kind of, that's something different. Moves forward like that. And it moves, he moves forward a grip. Here you go. Here's a pickup. That's rapid beat. So that's off auto combo. Is Koma a beast? Yeah, this character, this character's godlike. The thing is, you're never going to find somebody... That doesn't think this character's cool as shit. There's a drop after rapid beat. Then he just runs up, command grab, explode. See him drift. Back dash out of range of the 5C. So this so this this is it. You saw it yesterday in the, the Tono video, right? At the very opening, they showed off reverse speed right away. And if you don't know what reverse speed is, it basically is most games have uh, the string system where let's say you go button A in the button B, button C. Melty Blood has a unique string reversal system where you can go, let's say, B, C, A, or B, C, B, or something like that. Depending on what you start the string with, or C into B, C into A, you can cancel the recovery with a jab or with something like that. And the end result is you're able to create more unique pressure strings and change your pressure on the fly based on what your starter was. You're able to cancer into the the lesser button like that, reduce recovery time, 
and then resume pressure with another starter if you like. So the end result is more unique, more dynamic pressure. That's something that's always been kind of unique about the game. In that way. So he goes, what, 2C? 2C, 2B, 5B? And then he cancels into stand jab? So just like that, that's a good example. I'm guessing. Goes low. Cancels into his mid off of that down heavy. And you see how he goes from the B buttons into jab like that at the end? So then he's free to dash in and try to resume pressure again. And you as a defender, you can choose to try to jump out or whatever. You know, like, uh, whatever you want to do. But that's how you... That's like the like building blocks of that kind of pressure like that. But normally when you do like... Um, like a B button or a C button like that, right, on block, you normally have a certain amount of recovery. You can set, do your pressure in a way to where you have less total recovery if you cancel into the light, light button like that at the end. So that's kind of how that works. It ends up where basically you can create more airtight pressure strings and stuff like that, you know? They don't have like an indicator of anything when you do it. I guess maybe not to overwhelm people, but that is, uh, that's something that if you, if you're a longtime player, you're very happy to see. You know, that's something that you're like, damn, that's a uh, legacy mechanic that they kept in the game, man. They kind of snuck it in there, but that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's how it should be. That's the kind of thing you keep that system that makes it unique. You don't necessarily have to try to overwhelm uh, new people that are jumping in, in with it, right? Keep it there for the people that, that want it, you know? That's it. So he does what? What the hell? So he does super? Cancels into Moon Drive off the super? And then from the activation, he's able to jab and continue to combo? Pick it up? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So so look. He does an air combo route. And then at the end of the air combo, he does a moon attack. You can tell because it, ta it takes the gauge. He uses whatever this moon, this moon attack is that uses 25% of it. And on landing, burns the meter to go in the super. Since he's over 50% of the moon drive, he can activate. So he act you can activate it off of, what, EX specials and stuff? But then this is the thing. He's not done. Jab the continue to combo, and then he, he still gets the pickup. Does what, 6C, stomp, then into another super, dunk. And then he does something at the end of that that I think caught a lot of people by surprise. So this is charge. Charge, in the old games, you were able to build a super meter by just key charging like that, right? What's interesting to note is watch this. So his magic circuit goes up. Watch his health bar. His health bar goes down. But I guess what I'm wondering is, is this mechanic something that you're only going to have access to in Moon Drive? Is this something character specific to him that they did? I can't imagine so, right? Or maybe it's not even related to that. Maybe you can do it. They just haven't shown it off yet. Maybe you can do it anytime. I don't know. But that's uh, that was, I think, the new thing with this video that a lot of people looked at and pointed out. So here he gets, yeah, he has four bars since he's down around. It's in round three. Damn, I, the animations with the in the back and stuff like that. I, th I think this shit looks tight. I, I I always wonder with this kind of stuff is like for players. The more you play, I wonder like when you'll get tired of it, you know. But for right now, this shit looks tight to me, man. So he activates. Hold on, I gotta. I'm gonna put it on in real time. That shit's tight. <laughs> This animation is godlike. I'm, I'm really glad they put this character in. So he goes Blood Heat. Yeah, I like the way that it comes from the back. Like he's grabbing you, you know? Like he's reaching through the screen. This shit's tight. But yeah, I'm finally... I'm glad that they put one of the... Uh, the cooler characters, for sure. This is definitely one of the designs in the game that I think... Mo Dude, it's, it's hard to say he's not cool. Even if you don't play him, even if you don't like fighting him or whatever, you can never say this isn't one of the like tightest characters in the game series, traditionally. 